Good evening, children. Am I audible to you guys? Please confirm in the chat box. Am I audible to you guys? Please confirm. Thank you for confirming. Students, the thing is, you need to mail me every time whatever questions you need to ask me in case you are not understanding anything. In that case, you need to contact me on my mail ID. That is ritu.logiclabs at the rate gmail.com. It's regarding your queries. Okay. If it's if it's not done by me, you need to contact our support team. Okay, support team, as I've shown you, support team, everything is given here regarding the support team. You can mail them also. And if you want to join, please join our WhatsApp community group. In, for all the session updates, please join our WhatsApp community group so that you'll get the recordings and notes. You'll get the recordings also. First three recordings will be given will be shown on the YouTube also. They'll provide you the link of the YouTube so that you can actually understand them. Okay. So shall we proceed with the session? Okay, good. So in the last session, we have discussed about the data types. Data types in Python, right? We were discussing about the data types as the purpose of data type is to allocate the sufficient amount of memory space for storing the values or literals in main memory of computer. So I've told you that we have six categories, fundamental, sequence, list, set, dict, and non-category data type. In that, in the fundamental category data type, we have int, Float, bool, and complex. In sequence, we have str, byte, byte, sorry, range. In list, we have lists and list and tuple. In the set category, we have set and frozen set. Dict category, we have dict. And none type category, we have the none data type. So after that, we have discussed, we started discussing about the fundamental category data type in which we have discussed about the int. Int. Int is the predefined class. And treated as the and treated as the fundamental data type, fundamental category data type. It stores the integer value numbers without decimal places. Okay, so it stores the integer data. Let's go ahead. I have shown you the examples also. Let's go ahead and take one example in order to understand. Just take a quick recap. B is equal to 225. Now C is equal to minus 5. It's minus 5. Okay. Now print A type of A. We want to know. Type of A. Print B. Type of B. Now print C type of C. So this is the integer data type. After that, we have I have also given you, I have also told you that we can also store different types of number system data in the int data type. Right? The decimal number system data, it is understandable by, by everyone. Then decimal number system data. Binary number system, octal number system, and hexadecimal number system. We discussed about them also. What is a binary number system? I have shown you in the examples now in the binary number system. In the binary number system data, what we did is, let's discuss. Now, we have four number system, decimal, binary, octal number system, and hexadecimal. In decimal number system, it is a default number system where we have 0 to 9, total digits are 10. So it's basis 10. And all the base 10 digits are the decimal number system. Binary number system 
is understandable by the OS and processes during the application execution, where in the digits we have a zero and one. Total digits are two, so its base is two. It is identified by zero B or zero B in the uppercase, in the lowercase or in the uppercase. Octal number system, it is used in the microprocessor programming. Digits are zero to seven, so its base is eight. It will be considered as 0, O in the lowercase and 0, O in the uppercase. And the hexadecimal number system is developed in of OS. Is developed in OS. Digits are 0 to 9 and A is considered as 10th digit. B is 11. C is 12. C is 13. C is 14. It is a base. It has a base 16. And if we want to identify them, we need to use the 0x or 0x in the lowercase and the uppercase. Now, as let me show you with the examples here also. See, I've given the examples. Decimal number system, they have 0 to 9. Binary number system, it has 0 and 1. Syntax is variable name is equal to 0b binary data. Variable name is equal to 0b binary data. Even we store the binary data, the Python programming environment will convert binary data into the decimal number system data. We have discussed just yesterday, I've shown you the examples also. Then the octal number system data. Octal number system data is used in the microprocessor, as I've told you, that after that, what we do is it must be represented or stored in the variables with 0, O, and 0. Then syntax for this is variable name is equal to 0, O, octal data and 0, O, octal data. Python programming environment will convert the octal data into the decimal one. Do you want me to give you the examples once again? Or I'll share the notes with the paid candidates. They'll be able to get it. Hexadecimal number system. Data used in development of OS, and this number contains the digits 0 to 9 and 10 to 15. So, total digits are 16. See, hexadecimals have 1, 0 also, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. After that, A, B, C, D, E, F, where F is considered as, considered as 15, E has E as 14, D as 13, C as 12, B as 11, and A as 10. Even we store the hexadecimal, the Python programming environment will convert that into the decimal number. Syntax of this is variable name is equal to 0x hexadecimal and 0x hexadecimal data. So do you want me to give you the examples once more, one more time or shall we proceed with the number system? Shall we proceed with the number system? Okay. Two participants have raised their hand. Okay. Yes, when I tell me, please unmute yourself. Yes, when I tell me. No, no, this was recording whether uh whether your voice is audible or not. Now it's audible. It's audible. Okay, fine. Okay, and Siva Prasad. Okay, Siva Prasad, please unmute yourself. Yeah, Ritu. My question is like uh, we are storing our octal and binary and hexadecimal number to a you know one of the variable. But while displaying, if you want to get only the type of like P store binary, we want to get the binary. Then how can we do that? If you want to go ahead with the binary format and you want to see the binary format, right? That what yeah. is the binary yeah, format yeah. of this? I'll show you. I'll show you. Don't you worry. Anything else? Yeah. Anything? Uh, no, nothing. Okay. That is okay. the question. Let me, let me see. Okay. Okay. Now the students want to tell you the how the binary format is taking place. How if we want to convert it into the binary number, how will we be, will we be able to get it? Right? Now, let me tell you. Let me tell you. But, see. 
just a second, Sidhu. Okay. As one of the students wants me, wants me to to present the examples once again, let me show you that also. A is equal to A is equal to 0 B 1 1 1 1 0. Now C is not fine. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's not zero B, it's A B okay. It's zero B. Some error is okay. Zero B one 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 zero one zero one. Okay. Just a second, please. I'm writing it in there. Zero B now. One zero one zero one. Okay. Now, print A. Type of A. Got it. Now, A is equal to zero B. Zero. B one zero one zero one plus plus zero B one 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 zero one. Now print a type of a. See, got the output. Got the output. Now, after that, uh, let me proceed first, then I'll tell you. I'll give you the answer also. Okay. Now, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead. Now, let me write A is equal to 0, O, octal number system, 152. Okay. Now, print A type of A. See, it's 106. Now, A is equal to 0, O, 245. Now, it's 165 as an in integer. Now, hexadecimal. Hexadecimal. Now, let me write. Let me write 0, B. 0, X, sorry. 0, X. A is equal to. We need to give the variable name a zero x one two three. After that, I'll be taking zero and f. Now print a. It's seven four five double one. Now one more example. A is equal to zero x zero x. Let me write a c c. Now print a. Type of A. 2, 7, 6, 4. Right? Now, I want to know. See, now I want to know. 43. We have got 43. Now I want to know. Bin of 43. See, got the output? As one of the students asked me this question. That how will we come to know that whatever we did is right or not? Is this clear to you? How will we get that? Now, let me check octal. Octal of. Octal of. 0, O. 245, we want to know. Oh, octal of, sorry, 165, we want to know. It's 0, 0, 0, Clear? Is this clear? Dear student, is this clear to you? Got it. How can we print 0, x, 1, 2, 3, 0, f? So we can use bin A, we'll get, no, 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 no. You cannot use this. You cannot use this. 
just a second. Let me write then of A. See, what is that? This is the binary for matter. This it will consider the last digit. It will consider the last digit. Seven, four, five, double one. Although it is in hexadecimal. Clear? So your precise, is this clear to you? Why can we do this? Why can't we do this? Very good. Very good. Now, let me make you understand how the decimal number system takes place. As one of the students asked me to clear that. How can we display the binary value of a variable I have given you? The last value, like if I write A is equal to, now let me write 245. Now, then of A. Clear? Actually, is this clear to you? We need not to do all these things. See here, we need not to do all these things. This, this is an internal process. This is an internal process. You need not to, the programmer or end user need not to go ahead with this. Okay. So, so because this is, these are the benefits of Python. That is the only reason it is considered as a high level programming language. That is the only re reason it is considered as a high level programming language. Okay, now how this conversion takes place? How internally this conversion takes place? Let's go ahead with that. Let's go ahead with that. Now, see, I have given you the examples also, but it was considered earlier. Let's, let's go back to it. Yes. See how this conversion takes. See, we have a binary number one 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 one. Okay, and we are writing zero b one 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 one. How this conversion? The base is zero. the The base is two. We know that the base of binary number is two, right? So, and the power. The power is a place value. It is at the zero place, it is at the one place, it is at the second place, and it is at the third place. Right? So two. Two is power of zero. Whatever the place value of two of one is, like zero, it will raise to the power two. One, two raised to the power one. Two is what here? Two is a base value. Now two. Then 2 raised to the power 2 according to the place value of this. Then 2 raised to the power 3. Are you getting how we are getting 2 raised to the power 0, 2 raised to the power 1, 2 raised to the power 2, and 2 raised to the power 3? You know that? You know the place value? Now, into 1. Okay. And what about the... Smith, Smith, are you aware of this? Okay, good. So after this, we are multiplying it with one. One means this one, this one, this one, and this one. So we have one, 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 so we are multiplying it with one. Now, two raised to the power of zero. It will be considered as 1 into 1. Then we got 1. 2 raised to the power 1 is 2. Into 1 is 2. 2 raised to the power 2. 2 to the 4. 4 into 1. 4. 2 raised to the power 3. 2 to the 4 and 4 to the 8. 8 into 1 is equal to 8. 1, 2, 4, 8. So we'll add these numbers and we'll get the output we will get the output. 
Let me show you. Now let's check whether we have done is right or not. Let me write bin of 15. I'm writing bin of 15. Is this right? See, 0, B, 1, 1, 1, 1. So this is right. Is this clear? Is this clear? Very good. Very good. Now let's go to 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Now 2 raised to the power 0 according to the place value and into 0 because 0 is the digit here. Right? Now into 0. Then 2 raised to the power 1 into 1. Then 2 raised to the power 2 into 0. Then 2 raised to the power 3 into 1. Then 2 raised to the power 4 into 0. And 2 raised to the power 5 into 1. So 1 into 0 is 0. 2 into 1 is 2. 4 into 0 is 0 again. 8 into 1 is 8. 16 into 0 is 0. And 32 into 1 is 32. Now we'll add these numbers. 0 plus 2 plus 0 plus 8 plus 0 plus 32. And we'll get the output. Now let's check it again whether this is right or not. So let's go ahead. Bin of what the number we got there? 42. Bin of 42. 101010. So this is an internal process, but I am letting you know that how actually this conversion takes place. Now the binary number system format is clear to you how the conversion takes place. Now, shall we proceed with the octal number system? Octal number system. In the octal number system, we have 8. We have base 8. So, let's proceed with that and understand that. Now, see. We have 2, 5, 3. Because we have the numbers from 0 to 7. 0 to 7. So, total digits, what we have is 8. It means they have base 8. 8 raised to the power 0. 5 in this also 8 raised to the power 1. 8 raised to the power 2. Right? According to the place values. Now 3 into 8 raised to the power 0. Means 3 into 1. It's 3. 5 into 8. It's 40. 2 8s are 8, 8 is a 64. 64, 2 is a 128. Right? Now, 128 plus 40 plus 3. We have got 171. Now, let's check. Let's check octal of 171. Octal of 171. That's 0, 0, 2, 5. Here, now, octal of 123. Again, 8 raised to the power 0, 8 raised to the power 1, and 8 raised to the power 2, according to the place value. Now, 3 will be multiplied by 8 raised to the power 0. Now, 2 into 8 raised to the power 1. Now, 8 into 2. 8 into 8. 1 into 8 raised to the power 2. So means it is 64. 8 8 is 64. 1 into 64 is 64. 8 into 1. 8 raised to the power 1 means 8. 2 8 is 60. 3 into 1 is 3. So what will we get? 83. 83. Decimal number is 83. Students, are you getting me? Is this clear to you? Is this format clear to you? Please confirm in the chat box. How the conversion is taking place?
I'm asking to the students who specially ask me such questions. Thank you. Let, let's proceed with hexadecimal. Now, 0x, 1a, b, because we have the digits a till f. Now, b is considered as 11 and a is considered as 10. If we go ahead with it, we can see the number system data. We can see the number a will be considered as 10 and b is 11. Now, let's proceed. Now, a is 10, b is 11. And 1 will remain 1. So, they have, we have 0 to 9. After that, we have a till f. So, we have total difference. Now, 16 raised to the power 0 multiplied by 11. Why? Because value of b is 11. 16 raised to the power 1. Base value is 16 raised to the power 1. And multiply by 10 because a, 10 is the value of A. Then 1 into 16 raised to the power 2. So 256, 160 and 11. So answer is 427. 427. So hexadecimal of 427 is 10x1 A. Okay, see, this is the output A has 10, 16 raised to the power 0, 1, then 16 raised to the power 1. D has 13 value. A, B, C. C has 12 and D has 13. 13 into 16 raised to the power 2. 3 is 3, 16 raised to the power 3, 16 raised to the power 4, and 1 into 16 raised to the power 4. And Whatever element, whatever digits we get, we need to add this and we'll get the output. So this is this clear? Is this clear to how the conversion takes place? I'll share this number data system for you guys so that you can actually come to know. In case you'll get confused, you can check it out. Okay. No response. No problem. Let's get back. Let's get back. So as I've told you, that in uh, int number system only supports these systems. Int is the only data type which we can in which we can store the all different types of number system data. Now we are going to talk about the float. Float. Float value. What is the next predefined function? Predefined data class and fundamental data, data type. Let's talk about that. Is this clear to everyone? Shall we proceed further? Okay. Now, when we are talking about the float, it is one of the predefined data class, as I told you, and treated as a Fundamental data type. It stores the float data type, means real constant values or floating point values. Floating point values means decimal places, values with decimal places. Now, let me write A is equal to, A is equal to, sorry, A is equal to 12.34. Now, print A. Type of A. This is the class four float. Now let me write A is equal to 1.2, B is equal to 3.4. Now C is equal to A plus B. A plus B. Now print A type of A. Now print B. type of B, then print C, type of, this is also C, all right, now let me show, uh, show you, A is equal to minus 12.34, now 
P is equal to minus 45.62. Now, P is equal to P is equal to A plus B. Now, print A type of A, print B type of B, and print C type of C. Got the output? Now, float data type does not support binary, octal, hexadecimal, and by default, it only supports the decimal number system. Let me write, let me show you A is equal to, now I am writing 0B, 101010, okay, point. 0B, now again, 11111. One, 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 one. Invalid decimal literal. Right? Now, let's see whether it supports the octal number system also. Now, let's say A is equal to 0, sorry, 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, point 0, x, decimal, 0, x, 2, 3, f, d. Invalid decimal. Okay. Now, as I've told you, that it will not support the decimal uh, octal number system, binary number system, and hexadecimal number system. It only supports the decimal number system. Float data type also stores the scientific notations of the floating point values. And what is the advantage of float, uh, scientific notation of floating type values? It takes the less memory space. What happens is it takes the less memory space. Space. Like if I write A is equal to minus 3E2. Minus 3E2. What will happen? See, now if I write print A, comma, type of A. Minus 300.0. Zero, zero. Now if I write a is equal to 10 e 10 e minus 3 now print a type of a 0 0.01 0 0.01 now how is this taking place students let me write one more number a is equal to now i am writing 0. Point, I'm taking this number or let me take more. Okay. Now, print A, type of A. 4E minus 41. 4E minus 41. If I'm writing minus 41, it is going back there. 41 zeros. Okay. One will be considered here and three there. If I'm writing three e two, it will plus it. When I'm writing minus three, it will go to the left. When I'm using, it will go to the left side because it's minus three there. Now, if I write a is equal to c four e, and I'm writing forty one. Then print A plus 41 because this is a new scientific notation. That, that takes less memory space. That takes less memory space. Right? In spite of going like this, in spite of going like this, A is equal to Point zero. Now, if I write print A, clear students? Is this clear to you guys? Very good. Now, let's proceed further. Let's proceed further. Now, when we are talking about the next category, next is the boolean. 
Bool is also a predefined class and treated as a fundamental category data type. Treated as a fundamental category data type. As we were discussing here, Bool is also a fundamental category data type. Now, purpose of Bool is to store the values in the form of true and false. True and false. Like if I write A is equal to a is equal to, I'm writing true. Please remember that in this case, since the T should always be capital. Now print A type of A. This is a class B. See, true and false are the logical values of bool category. True and false are the logical values of bool category. And they are the keywords and they are treated as the values for bool data type. Internally, the value of true is considered as 1 and value of false is considered as 0. Please remember this, that value of true is considered as 1, 1 and value of false is considered as 0. Now let me write A is equal to true like this. Minimal. True is not defined. If you mean true, T should be capital. Now, if I write A is equal to false, false is not the same. Right. Now, if I write A is equal to true, B is equal to false. Right. Now, I am writing print A plus B. Now, as I told you, internally, the value of true is 1 and false is 0. Is 1. So 1 plus 0 is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Now let's take print A star A star. Now I'm writing 0 B 1 0 1 0. Minus V minus uh, let me take minus B plus A. Now give me the output. Let me tell you binary format 0 B 1 0 1 0 is 10. Now give me the answer. Give me the answer. Waiting for your response. No, not nine. No. It's one zero one zero. It is a binary format. It means it's ten. So how come two? No. No, dear. It's not ten. See, A is 1. 1 into 10 means 10. Minus B means 0. 10 minus 0 is, again, 10 plus 1 means 11. So, we we'll get the output. Let's see. Just a second. So, what will be the output? It's 11. Clear? Clear. Now let's go ahead. Let me tell you one more time. Let's go ahead one more time. Let me write true. True plus true plus true. And let me write into false. Now give me the answer. No, not zero. Yes, it's two. It's two. Got it? 
so this is clear to you right <laughs> so four is clear to you now let's talk about complex complex value is one of the predefined class and predefined class and fundamental data type it stores the complex value it stores the complex value the general format of complex number is let me show you let me show you and that will be more easier for you see the general format of complex value is a plus bj or a minus bj a is a real part and b is a imaginary part please remember a plus bj or a minus bj a can be any digit b can be any digit okay and j represents the square root minus 1 or square j is equal to minus internally real and imaginary values are treated as the float values please remember programmatically to extract the data from the complex object we have two predefined attributes that is real and image please remember real and image not imaginary complex obj obj dot real if we we'll write it gives the real part of the complex value and if we we'll write complex obj dot image it gives the imaginary part of complex value let me show you how attributes are fixed let's write a is equal to 2 plus 3j now print a comma type of a this is a complex one. Now, A is equal to 4 minus or 4 minus 5J. Now, print A type of A. This is again a complex one. Now, we can also write like this. A is equal to 2.3 plus 4.5J. Okay, 4.5j. Now, if I write print a type of a, this is a complex one. PMD screen not shown, not shown. Is the screen visible to everyone? In case you, in case some of you face such issues, then please re-log in. I always recommend you to re-log in. Okay. Now let me write A is equal to. Let me write 56 plus 2.5. Plus, just a second, 2.3j. Now, print A. Again, the complex one. If I write A is equal to 0 plus 0j. Zero now, print A. Complex one. Now, I'm writing A is equal to. 10 plus 4j. Now, I want to know. This is a complex value we know. Now, I want to know. I want to know the real part of this. So, print a dot real. It's 10.0. Why? Because I have to, told you that real and imaginary parts are treated as the float value right now if i write print a dot image got it got it now in spite of this if i write print a dot image no attribute now if i write print a dot these are the imaginary values. So let me write imaginary. 
no attribute imaginary. Clear? Now let me write. Let me write two point three plus four j dot 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 image four point three. Now if I write point image now. I'm writing plus. Let me write. Tell me, Shubha, what will be the answer? What will be the answer? Very good. It's 5.0 there because internally its value is a floating point value. Okay, now if I write image plus true plus, let me write 0B1111. Now let me know. Now let me know. Twenty point zero. Okay. What about rest of the students? One 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 is fifteen. Now tell me. Miss, is everything clear to you? No, Sandeep. No. It's one 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 one. This is fifteen. How come 47? Smith, whatever we are discussing in the class, is that clear to you? You're not responding? Let's check. Yes, it's 20 points. Now, if I write dot real plus false minus zero B one one zero C. Now, tell me. Now tell me. Smith is there in the class or he has left the class? Smith, are you there? Tell me, are you getting are you getting me? Tell me the answers to waiting for your responses. Let's see. It's minus nine point seven. It's minus 9.7. See, it's 2.3. My plus false. False means zero. What are you considering it? It's minus 9.7 because it will delete one mark here. Clear to everyone? 
clear to everyone? Any questions till now? Yes. 2.3 minus 12 is 9.7. Exactly. Maya, you only taking two. See, this has its own value, 2.3. 4.0 is the value of image. That is why I've re written real here because I wanted to know this. This is minus 9.7. Is this clear to you guys? Students, tell me, please. Whether everything is clear to you? No responses from your side. Okay, do you have any questions till now? Any question? Anything you wanted to ask? Because with this, we are done with the fundamental category data type. With this, we are done with the fundamental category data type. What all do we have in this? In the fundamental category data type? Float, int, float, bool, and complex. Int, float, bool, and complex. So, integer value, float value, bool value, and complex value. Tomorrow, we are going to discuss about sequence category data type. In B, there we have SGR, bytes, byte array, and range. We'll discuss about it tomorrow. Any questions if you have? Otherwise, I'll wind up the session for today. No question. As you people have no questions, let me wind up the session. We'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. Till then, take care. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Thank you.